Hey folks, Super Drew here. Uh, this is going to be the a waffle video, but uh, first I, I, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who sent me private messages and commented, uh, sending their support. Uh, it's, as some of you know, it's been a really tough week for me, and uh, I don't want to go into what's been going on. A lot of you know what's going on, but I just want you to know that I really appreciate all the support. Okay, uh, stand by. We're going to get started with these waffles right now. Okay, folks, those are the mixing bowls I'm going to be using. And as we pan to the left, we have one cup of all-purpose flour. We have one cup of whole wheat flour. We have a half a teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. Three tablespoons of sugar. Three whole eggs, which will be beaten. We have two ounces or one half of a stick of unsalted butter that's been melted. We have one 16 ounce container of buttermilk and that's at room temperature. And I have some vegetable spray there. That's going to be for the waffle iron so that the uh, waffles don't stick. Okay, uh, give me a second here and we will start to mix the dry ingredients. Okay, I'm going to put the flour into my sifter here make sure we get any of the chunks out of it. And this is just an easy method. Just tap the side and let it fall through like it's snow. Okay. Now here's the wheat flour. We'll do that next. Bear with me here, folks. This takes a little bit of time, but this is the best way to do it. You wouldn't want to get a great big hard chunk of flour down in there, that's for sure. There you go. See, look at the bottom there. See that? That's what we're trying to sift out of it. Okay, now we're going to add the baking soda. Make sure we get all that. Now the baking powder. Now we have regular salt. And then here is the sugar. All right. Now we're going to whisk this all together so it's good and mixed. Okay, there we go. Those are the dry ingredients. Give me a moment and then we'll do the wet ingredients. Okay, now we're ready for the wet ingredients. I'm going to do three eggs. We're going to put in our melted butter. And I'm going to whisk that together. Now we're going to add our buttermilk. And it's important that the buttermilk be at room temperature so that uh, things will react properly. If it's cold, then nothing's going to mix right. It's not going to mix with the flour. Okay, there are the wet ingredients. Give me a minute and we'll be right back. Okay, now let's add the wet and the dry together. Sorry for the angle there. I'm right-handed and I have to pour this in left-handed. Now the thing is, you really don't want to over-mix this. You don't want to overwork it. Get all those ingredients mixed together, nice and gently. See how it's starting to come together? Just work the uh, whisk onto the side of the bowl 
as I'm doing and that will work the lumps out of it. But you don't want to get rid of all of the lumps. You want to leave some of those in there. Alright, that's about the consistency we're looking for. Now here's the most important step. You want to let this sit. You want to just leave it alone, walk away. Go have a cup of coffee, go out and smoke a cigarette, whatever. You want to let it sit for five minutes, maybe seven or eight minutes. What's going to happen is the buttermilk and the flours and the salt and the baking powder and the baking soda, they're all going to react and it's going to puff up and it's going to put some nice, nice air into this. And when we make our waffles, they'll come out light and fluffy and just incredible. Okay, so give me a minute. We're going to let this, uh, we're going to let this sit for a little bit. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, as you can see, I've got the oven preheated to 200. I'm going to put the uh, waffles in the oven while the others are cooking. That way they'll stay nice and hot and fresh. Okay, folks, you can see that the uh, waffle iron's all warmed up. I've got my batter ready to go here. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of spray to keep them from sticking. And here we go. And I think that'll be good. And the lid, when you shut it, will squeeze everything out to the sides. Okay, stand by. As soon as this is ready, we'll let you know. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's steam coming out of it and a little bit coming out of the side. That, that, that's good. That's what you want. That little bit coming out the side lets you know that it filled up all of the squares on the inside of the waffle iron. The steam lets you know that it's cooking. As soon as you see the steam stop, count to about 30, and then they're ready. Okay, folks, this one's ready. Let's take a look. And let's cross our fingers and hope that the batter is spread out evenly. Well, not too bad. I missed a little bit up in this corner. Take your fork, gently and carefully pull it out of there. We'll put it on this plate for a second. And we'll go ahead and load it up again. and we'll let this one cook. Okay, stand by. Okay, here we have uh, the waffle. I'm going to top it with some strawberries and a little bit of whipped cream. And then the final piece to the puzzle, a little bit of powdered sugar. And of course the ceiling fan's on, it's blowing sugar around, but you guys get the idea. Just like we did with the flour. There we go. Alright, there you go folks. There's Super Drew's waffles. Give it a shot sometime and I hope you enjoy.